After winning their first postseason game in over a decade, the Lady Raiders of Texas Tech tried to do something that has not been done since 2012. That it is a lot about that, capitalizing off of momentum. They're excited to still be playing. Nebraska fans took it to heart. They up the uh, attendance last night, and there is Bree Scott again. They only make in conference play three a game. Riley McKinney, who came alive against UTEP last contest with 12, hits the three. Mark only one time since December 3rd. Taken away, Shavers. Hits on her back, the layup counted. You know, it, it, it's going to happen more and more, and maybe it really hardly even become a story. I had, I had uh, sequins boots. That's what I had, too. For today. What a job by Katie Farrell, the senior out of Plano, Texas. For her skill set. Inside, mop and count it, and she'll go to the line. There, exactly. And, she, and Jasmine was telling me one of the reasons is Katie Farrell with the easy layup. Just getting into a little bit of a fade in that mid range. And another one on the inside. But I respect the fact that she said, My shot's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to defend and let my defense separate myself. Scott on top, Gerlich. Gerlich on Wilkinson, up and under, got it! You've got shooters in there if you're the Lady Raiders, Maupin being one of them. Nice ball fake, got it, and she'll go to the line! Here's Maupin with the lead at one. Maupin inside again, off the glass, five in a row for Maupin. Backdoor cut, Maupin leans in, got it! A leading scorer for this team, and it's been hard for her to get buckets. Count it! but there's some really good players returning. Most, Moppin again! Most included, Bailey Moppin. Texas Tech advances, holding SMU scoreless the final 301. They win at 61-49.